Right then, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Slightly different video today. Um, I was shocked to see yesterday that for some reason, somewhere out in the world has decided to create this, a, a Karen movie. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to it. I haven't seen it yet. I have clicked on the video just to make sure that it was a real thing. It is a real thing. I don't know why. I don't know whether I'm excited or just like really why but anyway we're gonna give this a watch and um i'm gonna give you my thoughts all right here we go two minutes and 11 seconds of um well let's see okay first of all bet original movies now i've got a question for you and your producers why have you decided to make this here we go a film by coke daniels cool first name baby you just gotta give it a chance and that's her <laughs> Do you mind keeping it? You, so it's going to be like this. Wh oh my god. So I'm assuming now that this is the Karen, pretty obvious. I Tell me about your new neighbors. They're black. Do you mind keeping it down? If you don't comply, I'll tell the manager. <laughs> okay, it's so stereotypical, but again, I I'm not. I, I'm, okay, I love that little zoom in on her face as well after she says if that. You don't comply, I'll tell the just a little, just let us know. Let us know what she's all about early on. You might have taken home security serious. Hi, I am Karen. With those cameras, she's, but honestly, guys, you'll know, those of you that are, you know, big followers of my channel will know the amount of stories that I've read out about people putting up security cameras and stuff like that. All the tropes are here. Neighbor, you need to be taking your trash cans off the curb right when the trash is picked up. Is she nice? Yeah. Lovely. Nice. Wait a minute. We have a white entitled neighbor named Karen. Karen. Okay, enjoy yourself. There she, she is, slaving So she's away made in the them kitchen. a. I've come across. I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but that's that. That wording was on purpose, wasn't it? You could see the look, and you can see the look in this kind lady's eyes. She knows what's just been said there. Slaving. Why? Very suspecting teenagers. Okay. Can you please hurry up? Please, it's, they're very, very aggressive. Yep. I left my wallet with my ID at home. Leave us alone. We didn't do anything. How the heck did you end up moving to? Honestly, I'm blown away by this. All right, so this every single Karen trope, every single one of the, my stories that I've ever read out, your guys' stories, is like being compiled into one film. I don't know whether to love it or hate it. I'm leaning towards hating it because it just seems ridiculous. Uh, Next what? Th that would never happen. Would that would just? Next thing you know, we have criminals. You take care of him, and I will take care of her. Would you mind stepping out of the car? My office has uncovered some disturbing information on her and her brother. Okay. She doesn't like black people. No, I think that's pretty clear. Well, I'm black. I know, she doesn't like me either. So has she called the police on her new neighbors? I think, yes. I want to sell the house. What do I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living next door to a racist. Was that? You went in her. Uh, um, what is this? So the neighbors, the bloke's just gone into her gaff. I, I mean, given that she has openly admitted that she hates black people, why would you go into someone else's property in America? It's very risky. But anyway, oh, again, now she's got a gun. Uh, house, you wouldn't want your wife to know our little secret, right? It's not standard police procedure back there. What do we have here? We got a hammer. Did he plant something? You people are very angry. Shut your mouth, boy. Bad things happen to people that don't comply. <sighs> what was that? Seriously? <sighs> okay, well, um, I don't know what that was, but wow. Okay, let's just try and quickly break this down from a critical perspective. This has got to be the worst trailer for any film ever. And I quite enjoy, you know, Karen films, well, Karen stories and that sort of stuff. Every 
little Karen stereotype has been hit, but it's so unrealistic. What? I don't even know what it is. Is it like a, th is it a thriller? Is it a horror movie? Is it a, what is it? I don't know. I mean, I just want to go back to the point where she just invades the house with a gu <laughs> And then, what, what is, what is that? I I'll be honest here. I had my own, you know, thoughts on what this, what this might be. And I've seen some things on Twitter and the internet in general. And we'll have a look at p other people's reactions saying that it's really bad. But my God, it's really bad. <laughs> It's, I do oh, it's, it's, wow. Honestly, comment your thoughts down below, guys. But for me, wow. Worst movie trailer ever, question mark? Oh, wow. So, so oh, so is that her brother? I think it's, okay, so just by chance, I guess, or because the Karen has called her police officer brother, Officer Mike Wind, Wind, suspended for excessive force. He was cited on Thursday for using a banned chokehold on a black man that he pulled over for a broken taillight. Oh my God. I mean, it really is hitting every trope, as I've said, but I really want to watch it, I'll be honest, just to see if it's just absolutely terrible. Oh my God. <laughs> One out of 10. So as you can see, I'm pretty flabbergasted by that. But my opinion is not that important. Now, let's go on on YouTube comments and, and have a look at that. Because I think we all know that YouTube comments do often portray the truth. First of all, uh, let's talk about that. The uh, like to dislike ratio. You know, Karen's have done a lot for me. So I'll give it a like just, you know, because why not? But that is a one to four dislike ratio. 24,000 dislikes on a video with 600,000 views. That's saying something, isn't it? All right, let's go I've got comments. I can already see they're not good. Sort by top, as always. This looks like one of those college humor SNL parody sketches. It really does. It is that bad. I'm sorry to say it, but it's like, what's the script? What's the plot? Just, oh, strange. Um, this movie is actually ending racism because now blacks and whites are laughing together about how ridiculous the movie is. <laughs> I mean, it's not too far off, is it, really? Oh, wow. Hopefully, when the movie actually comes out, the Confederate flag soap dispenser scene will be when the laugh track cues and we find out it was a massive prank all along. Honestly, like the, I know they're trying to say that, well, this Karen is racist, she's a racist character, but you can't, like... <sighs> Can you make films like, I mean, it's just so odd. Saying that the woman is slaving away in the kitchen is one thing. Openly admitting that she doesn't like black people. And then the Confederate flag soap dispenser. Who would ever have that first off? Second off, is it necessary? I get what you're trying to do, but it's a bit much, isn't it? She doesn't like black people. Well, I'm black. I know, but she doesn't like you either. The suspense. This is what I'm saying. Like, where's the plot? What? I, I don't understand what this film is even trying to say or, or, or do or be or anything. Uh, it can be what it wants. Um, that's for sure. It, it's just, I, I know what it's doing. It's just going for the title. It's going for the clicks, isn't it? It's going for the, the shock factor. But as an actual film, it's offering nothing apart from just strange things. This makes the emoji movie seem like an awkward winning success. Well, uh, if that comment doesn't sum up what YouTube think of that trailer, then um, yeah, I'm not sure what would. All right, then now heading over to Twitter. Yeah, if YouTube didn't like it, then um, we can all imagine what Twitter's going to say. Let's try and find the, the, the top post on Twitter. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you don't follow me over there, I do, I do tweet uh, a lot. It's not very good, but feel free to follow me on screen now. Anyway, I low-key want to see this movie. That is kind of how I'm feeling. It looks so bad, but... I do want to, I do want to get in the mix. I do want to watch it. I don't know if I will. I mean, I'm going to, that's for sure. But I, my expectations are so low after seeing the trailer. That's for sure. Me, when that Karen movie gets nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> um, big, big man. That's just not going to happen. I, I can assure you of that, but hey. You never know, Hollywood is a weird place these days. I just finally saw the trailer for that Karen horror movie. I can't stop laughing. It's unbelievably cringe. It's like someone took every woke stereotype and fear-mongering about race relations and put it into a blender without nuance or subtlety. No surprise, it's from Bet. Oh, did Bet have a, a, a history of doing this then? It's not a, a company that I've heard of, not a production company I've heard of, but very valid emoji there. That's what I was saying. It literally is every stereotype. It's so blatant as June know says this is so like if there was any kind of you know subtlety left it's just gone from that film yes that is what it is it's exactly what it is jordan peele get out snl skit no one asked for a movie about a murderous karen hey um is it, you know, I think someone would have asked, but that's it, isn't it? It does feel very, at the start of the trailer, it felt very Get Out, but just without any meaning behind it. Is this the poster for it then? Te not all neighbors are friendly. 
Karen. Pretty cool poster, to be fair. Might use it in the next uh, the next Karen movie I do. Not next entitled parents movie I do. But no, it's a good poster. Not a good film. Wait, it's Black Entertainment Television. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, look. My main point is, I'm I'm very surprised. I don't know a lot about black entertainment network the fact that criticism is even uh, you know a paragraph on the wikipedia is quite telling what i would say is it's so surprising to me that this trailer film has been made by a black person that is actually you know has a good i don't think they're doing for the wrong reasons what i'm trying to say this is what i'm trying to say look many scholars within the african-american community maintain that bets or bet perpetuates and justifies racism by affecting the stereotypes held about african-americans and also by affecting the psyche or the psyche of its young viewers through its bombardment of negative images of African Americans. This was written in 2010, 11 years on, and the trailer that I've just seen could not be better summed up by this. Do you not think? So if if the Black Entertainment Network, but you're not helping black people with what you're producing, you're just showing them. Well, you're just kind of making race a, a silly thing, doing a film about a Karen, making it all stupid, having the Confederate flag and a kid literally saying oh she hates black people by the way it is like a sketch you're kind of taking the mick out of the whole thing and i don't get what the point is other than maybe annoying people loads of other people you know we, we talked about jordan peele earlier they're doing so much for black people and race and and you know stereotypes that have been around for ages that, that people are trying to break down rightly so and it's just like you see stuff like this it's such a backward step it honestly makes me think that it's not even worth supporting this film by going to watch it as much as i love karen's and uh you know I've made videos about Karen's for what nearly two and a half years now. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of this You know the motive behind it is one thing. I mean the trailer itself pretty shocking um, <laughs> Take it take of it what you make of it what you will but but this the fact that it's made by this company oh, I'm not a fan, but anyway guys uh, that is gonna do it for this video Please do let me know your thoughts down below on um on the trailer if you haven't watched it I'll track it up on screen now go ahead and go through and watch that um, you know Make your own thoughts. Watch it in full if you really want to. If you want some more from me about Karen's, go up there. I don't even know what to think, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway. Um, I did. It was a weird one. And uh, with that all being said, I will see you all tomorrow for a more normal video.